Hello YouTube, this is Miss Creator 47 coming to you with a video. This video is a requested video for um, Tanisha Candler and you asked me if I would help you figure out why you can't remove the white from up under her arm. So I, g I got your image and I already took the white background out but I noticed you still have white behind her head. Um, I don't know if you don't want the purse, the straps, the white out right here to be gone. And up, I know you want it up under her arms and up under her arms uh, right here. And I'm getting ready to show you how to do that right now. You're going to click on your image. You're going to go up and do a copy and paste. Keep one on the mat. And we're going to work off one of them off the mat. Oops, let me click off of that. Okay, now we're going to go back up and do our select trace area. We're going to click on that and we're going to bring that trace window right past where we want to get rid of this white stuff right here. So we're going to do our high pass filter. We're going to go and take our threshold to the right. And that's about okay right there and you notice this still it's still white right here but we can ready to get rid of it and I don't know if you want the white to uh, go away from the the straps but if I was you I would leave that there because it's it's so thin if you're gonna cut it out so I would just leave the white there and just get rid of the part around their arms so we're going to go up here to trace right up on the right and click trace you just want the outline. We're going to move her to the side. And the reason why you want to do that because you want to take the pieces from the trace and place it over the the uh the parts that you want to get rid of. And sorry if I'm stumbling. I have braces on and it's just really catching on my lip. So anyway, you click on your outline, you go up to object and you're going to click on release compound. And the only parts that you want is the one that you want to the whites to uh, be removed from like up on the arm here and here so this is this part right here so I'm gonna click off and I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna bring it right up under her arms right here and this one goes up under this arm right there now at this point the only one that's going to be removed is this one and that one. Now, if you wanted to remove the white where the straps are, these are the pieces are you look look at the pieces how they look, and these are the pieces that you will be getting rid of. So if I wanted that, I'll put that right up under her fingers here. If I wanted this one gone, I'll put that here and this one right there. And you probably want to zoom in a little bit uh, so you are able to see. And then this one right here, that will be her purse right here. So I will put that there. Okay, then I will just get rid of, and then this one is where her hair at right here. So I will get rid of all this, all this right here. And you notice I didn't do this one right here because I'm just showing you just in case you want to um, get rid of the little stuff. You can, but like I said, this is so tedious. And if you're doing a print and cut, it's too thin right here unless you make um, an offset. And I'll show you that in a, in a minute after I finish this. So now you get ready to group all this together. And it has a box over that, that one, that one. And it has a box over that. You gotta make sure box is all over it. Then you go back up to object and make compound path. And now you don't have those uh, white spots where they once was before. And let's go and do that again with this one. Copy, paste, trace, just the error that you need. High pass filter off, 
drag until you fill it in. I say about right there. Trace only. You just want the outline. We can get rid of that. Click on the outline object release compound is released now. Now we want to find out. I'm going to group these so I can bring them closer to me. Okay, now we want to find out which one we want to get rid of. So I know I want to get rid of this white behind her hair. So this is it right here. So I'm going to uncheck it and then I'm going to bring that over. And up under her arms, which is right here, if you could notice. And bring it right there and I'm looking and see if anything else I might want maybe I want to get rid of the strap make it a little thicker when I do the offset and this one right here and you can zoom in and make it closer so you know that you get in the right spot and I notice this one right here is gonna cut that also, I need to bring it over and down. Okay, now that is about it. I'm not going too much worry about this white part right here. The, you can't do anything about it unless you just cut it off and she don't have that little piece hanging out. I'm going to delete all this. I don't need it. I'm going to group all this together. Go up to object and make compound path. Now all, oh, I forgot about that one. So let me go back. And you can always go back. I forgot about this piece right here. Always go back if you forgot something and add it. So now I can get rid of this one. Okay. Now make, group it, object, make compound path. And now all that is gone. Now, <clears throat> You can, if you want to cut these straps out with it, I'll, my advice to you is to make um, an offset and I clicked on it and I will click on my offset and now it made a wider offset, but you don't want it that wide. So go to your right where you see the 0 0.125, you're going to type in 0 0.020 and click apply. Now it made it tighter and see now you see that it's going to, cut a more of a thicker uh, out in here as opposed to it being really really thin for your straps and then what you want to do is just make those outlines white in the inside white the outline and see now you have that and you're going to uncheck it and then group it together by dragging your mouse over and go down to your left bottom where it says group select shapes and now you have all of it grouped together and it's be able to cut out without you having any problems. And that's how you get rid of that white uh, up under the arms or any place where it's the two things are connected. Like this is connected so it has no way of taking it out because it's well together with her neck. And like the inside, her arm is covered the opening right here as opposed to this right here. It's an opening right there so it's able to get that, that white out from under her arms. So I hope this helped. If you have any more problems, let me know. I'll try to do another video. But this should help you uh, a lot. And I'm going to think I'm going to do this offset as well to give you understanding 0 0.020. And make it white. White. Lines white. Group it. And there you go. All right, and, and um, one other thing, when you get ready to cut your, do a print cut, make sure you do cut edge. Do not do this one right here where it's touching each other like this, but you just want to, don't do the cut because it's going to cut the white background uh, offset out by itself and it's going to cut the image out by itself. So do a cut edge, that way it's cut the whole thing along with the white part, your uh, offset button. So until then, I'll see you in my next video. Like I said, if you have any more problems with this, let me know and I'll try to figure out exactly what you have problems with. So talk to you soon.